There's a crank. Good old crank. Hey, you can't follow me down here. What are you, some kind of super bug? Stop it. I have ammo. <gasps> and there's no stupid QTE I have to do. That is a step up. I'm gonna keep the solid fuel on me in case I need it. I do have some chem fluid right now that uh, I'm not gonna use immediately for anything. At least not until I use that health item or run out of ammo. Guess I can bring shotgun shells with me. Got the extra space. It is a little disheartening to see that it is getting slightly more actiony as it goes along. I can now carry more ammo with me. There's more and more. Uh, like, uh, we'll see. We'll see, I don't want to prejudge. I mean, really, when you think about it, the classic Resident Evils, they, there was, there was a progression from the very beginning. Resident Evil 2 was more action-y than Resident Evil 1. 3 was way more action-y than 2. Code Veronica... Eh. I only played through Code Veronica once. I don't... Don't really remember. But yeah, I would say it was probably more action -y than 3. And then we all know how 4, 5, and 6 went. Zoe, you tried to sneak up to the second floor again, didn't you? Did you think I wouldn't notice? Even after what happened to Evelyn, you just keep talking about some strange medicine. And what are you planning to do with my altar? You better keep those sticky fingers off of it. Nobody touches my sacred altar. You think your father and I are idiots, you spoiled pathetic child? I wish you... You'd never be... It, it's she tasty. It's she tasty. It's coming. I wish you never been born... Unforgivably pathetic, yet always looking down on us and trying to leave our home and everything we've done for you, pathetic, 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 pathetic. If you ever even touch my altar, I'll slice off your chest and serve it up as a pot roast. What?
what a strange thing to say to your child. Chem fluid, hey, all right, and I've obviously missed something. Obviously. So... Fuel for the burner. Crap, I didn't need that right now. I should have read it beforehand. So where have I not explored? I've been in there. So scary, so scary little buggies. I'm so terrified. That whole area, right over there. Because I have the crank, and that's a crank thingy, a, cr a crank station, we'll, we'll call it. Gotta get to that there, crank station. So, solid fuel, not gonna need. Burner fuel, probably not gonna need, but I'll keep it on me in case. And, just for good measure, I'm gonna bring the burner grip in case I'm fitting to find the other half. I know I've seen that fireplace before, but I don't remember where. I don't feel like looking for it. Let's see what we can do. And what was the deal with that? Because wasn't there a reason I couldn't make it through to that other door? Was it just a hive?
I don't rightly remember. Seriously? It's just a swarm hovering right there where I'm trying to get to. Are you kidding me with this? Wonderful. Just wonderful. See me? Not sure how to proceed. Ah, kitty. Bag lady. One eyed Willie. There you are. Ah. Uh huh. Yep, right here. Swarm, don't get me. Swarm, don't get me. Although, maybe the swarm will now be in the room with the light. And maybe I can move around in that hallway without any issues. Eh? Eh? We'll see. We shall see. Crap. Crap. You are oh, freaking kidding me. Ah, oh, these stupid bugs. How are they the toughest enemies in the game so far? This is getting stupid. This is getting really stupid.
It's just a standing swarm. Well, I'm better off attacking them from the other angle, then. Ah, for crap's sake. And I completely bashed my face into that wall. Why is that swarm even there? I don't see a hive. Also, it is really stupid that she did not hear that. Put up another one. Did she just put up another swarm? No, she did send one after me though, apparently. Thrilling gameplay. Oh, wait, she locked that door, didn't she? That's a nice compliment. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna follow you in. Alright, they're not there. you get yourself to? Hmm? Where are you? <laughs> okay, not sure how to proceed. Not sure how to proceed. <laughs> right, Kate. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Nope. Bull crap. Bull crap. Close door. Where am I? Crokey! I got it.
burner. A homemade flamethrower. Crafted from junk. Giggity giggity you. Let's do this. Now we are talking. So does that mean the grenade launcher is going to be homemade too? I would like to see that. You get one shot before it blows up in your hand. Let's see how effective it is. Not that much. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Back up. Back up. Mind your business. That's all. Just mind your business. What? Where are they coming from? The hive's dead. Uh, there was another one. Burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn now. But is it really not doing anything? Whatever. Close the door! You dumbass. Okay, so apparently she doesn't operate like Jack. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? So clunky. But does this let me get in here? I wonder. I think it does. It does. with the stupid swarms. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? I'm going to go check out the crow house. No, the crow door and the main house first. Because I don't want to run into a point of no return here.
thought I had some burner fuel in here. Guess not. In any case, let's see. Where was that there bird door? I guess that's it, the drawing room. Which is past the monitoring room. There it is. come back to you gunpowder what's this flame rounds shotgun shells Hey, buddy. That way. And oh yeah, put the grenade launcher away. I definitely don't need that yet. Put those away, unless I pick up more.
Strong chem fluid. Okay. Oh, here's the treasure. Wow. Really? Another health increase? save stop the recordings so I have a nice chunk to work with and then start again so stay tuned it's not gonna make a difference to you